anyone better, any heart shattered, anyone sinking down, hold on, hold on, all of the center, for the weary and weather, thrown and tall, hope is lost, hold on, hold on. There's an anchor in the rage of the storm When the walls are closing in In the darkness all along Just praying for the daylight Peace for the soul There's grace for the morning When you feel like letting go There's an anchor There's an anchor To all who have faltered There is an altar Bring your plea on bended knee Bow down, bow down All your sons and daughters Run to the Father You're not too far from open arms Come home, come home Is there's an anchor In the rage of the storm When the walls are closing in In the darkness all alone Just praying for the daylight Peace for the soul There's grace for the morning David and Tommy, thanks for joining us. Good to see you guys. Absolutely. Happy to be here. Man, you, you brought this amazing choir I mean, with you today. We need we need help. You know, it's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's for blame displacement. Like, who hit, who hit that note? And they're like, you did, Crowder. <laughs> well, this is such an incredible song. I, I just love the moodiness of it. It's, it's such a cool uh, song to listen to. The vocal and how it weaves in, in and out is so cool. But David, I'd love you for you to talk about it a little bit. I know 
Tommy, you, you guys collaborated on this and uh-huh. worked together. But talk a little bit about the song and, you know, what was your idea coming together to write? And then we'll talk a little bit more about musically how it turned out. And it's so funny. Uh, so I uh, worked with Tommy on our last album, too. Um, I know a ghost. And Tommy's like, man, he drops the beat. And so I'm like, I need I need some tracks, you know. I'm I'm in the ATL now. I need some tracks, you know, some hot tracks. And so I'm like, I need to call Tommy Prophet up he's got that hot beats and so i show up and he's like what are you kind of thinking and feeling and i was we were talking i was, I was talking through the album a lot but i already kind of had a sense that I, I i felt like their choral stuff was in the air you know mm-hmm. like we're we're uh going through 2020 distanced from one another and there's this just we're not made for this kind of thing we're made for relationship and so there was just this group sing aspect that i wanted at the voices together mm-hmm. also there's like you know there's tension in the air 2020 heightened <laughs> tension was in the air and it's tough to like you know argue when you're trying to harmonize and so the words harmony and unison were just that i wanted to make an album that you had to sing together and so that so we were talking choral stuff but i'm like we're thinking we're gonna just drop a a bomb of a beat and then this thing popped out and it's like you know (laughs) cinematic uh choral piano deal and so we wrote we wrote um and we're kind of like, well, that was not what we were expecting. Um, <laughs> and I was saying like, a, well, let's just, I'll just hit a, a scratch vocal and we'll walk away, spend some time mm-hmm. with it, think about it, see what's happening. And then as we were talking from a distance, Tommy's like, I can see this whole cinematic, because, you know, Tommy also, <laughs> he the, the cinematic <laughs> uh, movie trailer stuff, He you know, that's like bread and butter. And his, he's like, I'm seeing this thing blow up, like cinematic, huge strings, choral stuff sure but man i just and so um that was kind of floating out there and when we we recorded his voice just to piano and the idea was go back to atlanta i'll throw a bunch of things in we'll collaborate you'll write a a new part (laughs) yeah we'll make this big movie trailer it's gonna be huge it's gonna be like the epic opener yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need like a to rent space for the orchestra. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be huge. Yeah, and then well, then he he calls me and says, "Hey, you don't have any fun on this song. Keep it just piano." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "You nailed no, it." No, no. Like, we the more we sat with that demo, just piano, mm. it was like, man, this is like this is really special. And I know everyone that you showed it to and everyone I showed it to, you were saying like everyone's like, "Wow, that's like really powerful." Yeah. And it just it didn't need all that extra stuff. So it went from the opener to the closer, basically, right? <laughs> yeah. So now it's the anchor track of the yeah. record. So it's you know it's it's the it's the final song of the, of the deal. But I just and then the choral piece. I'm, I mean, mm. there's so much space in the song since it is just a piano vocal um, thing that the the choral parts just. I mean, they flew. The, mm. I remember when you sent after you guys had cut the the um, vocal stuff. I was. I mean, I just. I I. Teared all up and stuff. It was probably because I was alone in my basement for all of 2020. It was just <laughs> good to hear a voice. But no, I was like, this. It, it, the way that you built that choral thing is just. It was mm. everything I could hope and imagine. Thinking about people's voices together, mm. um, creating some a space that we can say and proclaim something as as definitive as there. What in 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 a time and space when there's not a lot we could count on you know things are changing all the time Mm -hmm. is shifting there's a firm foundation there's there is an anchor that we can go uh all right i know i know where i am where i'm standing and what i'm what i'm uh dropped my line into and and the choral thing just it blew my mind Mm. wow well david talk a little bit about that lyric i love that that you all left it simple because what the song says is really powerful and David, I feel like you have a specific ministry to those that are broken, those that are, you know, that are uh, maybe marginalized or forgotten. And this song really speaks to that. But talk a little bit about this lyric, because I think it really shines the way that you guys recorded the song. Um, yeah. Uh, well, we thought, we th- we also thought that maybe the lyrics were kind of just, you know, in flow. Like, we didn't know if it was, a, you know, we were going to put a period in the sentence as well. Like, And so <laughs> actually the vocal on the deal is just like the scratch from one say sing it one time that was <laughs> yeah. it i'm like do so, can you do something with that like yeah um but we were we were at the more it was kind of one of those lyrics that we were just putting it down in the moment and thought we'll we'll you know polish it up later mm-hmm. and 
it, it's it's sort of like the song started working on me. And I was like, no, that's what I, this is what I need to say right now. Wow. This is what I need to remind myself of right now. Um, and I do love that in a moment where there there isn't a lot to depend on, that you're saying out loud these declarative things that, no, no, he is, he is. At the end, you're saying, no, I know, I know that there's uncertainty right now, but I I have been through this, you know, the progression of these lyrics in the song, and I can tell you from experiential truth, experiential revelation, stuff that I can say, this is how it is for me mm. um, to know that there's something you can depend on, and then wow. to say it definitively at the end, I mm. just felt it, it started working its deal on me. I'm like, no, 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 I think we're done with the <laughs> lyric too. <laughs> Sometimes you fight stuff, you know, and, and you think you've got to, um, you know, bring everything you can to a moment, but then sometimes you realize that moment was already there and, and it was pristine, don't don't mess it up kind of deal. And that's what this song felt like for sure wow. to me, my perspective. Yeah, it, it feels really special. It, it's really beautiful. Tommy, walk us through what you're playing, and it would be awesome. Uh, we talked about a little bit if you could, you know, even maybe bring in. We got this amazing choir and these amazing singers, but um, I know a lot of people want to sing this. You know, mm. not only will they they perform it, but they're going to want to sing it, and they'll need to work all these parts out. And but kind of walk through what you're playing, and then we'll walk through a little bit of just like how you're building that harmony, that progression through the song. Yeah, and it's funny because I think when we like these chords, they were led by the premise of like the cinematic sound, right? Mm -hmm. And so they still, they have that like infused in them. It's a, the song's in C minor. So it kind of starts on a C minor with like a pedal C. And then it goes to A flat, to B flat. It's kind of droning on that like mm -hmm. C the whole time. The movie trailer like trick. Almost like right? an anchor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like an anchor C. <laughs> you know, That's yeah. weird. <laughs> And then A flat, and then G sus, and then the chorus. I love that first chorus. It lifts. It's like, you know, it's the A flat, and then it's F minor. Sometimes slipping a D in there to make like that diminished sound, and then C minor, G minor over B flat, and it just repeats that again. A flat, F minor, C minor, G minor. And then for the choir, you know, like since he wouldn't let me build the track <laughs> with music, I was like, man, we could still like it still gets really powerful. It does, yeah. I mean, and the the vocals, his vocal and the choir, you know, they they build the intensity, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's more of an emotional intensity mm -hmm. versus like an epic intens intensity, you know. So it's just a really simple O part. Um, it starts on C. It's C E flat G, which is just the triad of the chord, right? Oh, oh, oh. You guys probably will do that better if you want to <laughs> show AJ. You want to do that? Yeah, let's do it. One. Yeah, and they do that mm. twice. And then at like later on in the song, they kind of just do that a little more intense and loud. And then at the very end of the song, they all jump up a note. So instead of going, then we add in some harmonies, the and so it's just kind of like that, the C minor chord. Like adding notes, that's like the trick of intensity, right? So <laughs> by the end, why don't we show them what we're doing at the end? It's one, two. Three. Wow. If you guys could just follow me around during the day and when I hit that <laughs> low, just oh, I'd love that. give me a little of that. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Well, David and Tommy, thank you guys so much for sharing the song with us. Really beautiful. Super well done. Thank you. Thanks.